Uh, we will get started then um, and call the meeting to order. This is the February 2nd, 2022 Coralville Planning and Zoning meeting, and it is now called to order. Uh, first, we'd like to welcome our new commissioners. Um, uh, do we want to go through any introductions or just kind of have a general welcome to everybody? Sure. I don't know, Brad and Dan, if you just want to give a little bit of background. Want me to go first, Dan? Uh, sure. So my name is Brad Friedhoff. Uh, I'm a uh, program conservation program manager for the Johnson County Conservation Board. Work out at FW Kent Park. I've lived here in Corville since 2002. Uh, I think, Paul, are you a Turkey Valley uh, alumnus? Yep. I'm a New Hampshire Chickasaw alumnus, yep. so uh, <laughs> got a lot of battles with those uh, Turkey <laughs> Valley guys. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to join. Welcome. Uh, Dan Holderness, I'm the recently retired city engineer from Corville. I've been here for 35 years, and so uh, apparently can't stay away. So um, we got uh, uh, nominated and I'm glad to help uh, serve on the PNZ Commission. Sounds good. Well, it's good to have you both. All right, I'm going to move forward to item number three. Can I get a roll call, please? Holderness? Here. Casserly? Taylor? Here. Wenman? Here. Friedhoff? Here. Aarons? Here. Okay. I think um, I think Eve um, would like to um, introduce herself. I, I, I think uh, if we could give her a moment, Eve, can you turn your volume on or video? Is anybody able to reach out to her? Had her hand raised there for a minute. Yeah. Eve, do you want to um, do you want to email me a phone number and we can call you and try and troubleshoot this? Uh, if you want to, my uh, my email is d johnson j o h n s o n at coralville dot o r g. Okay. Um, Eve, if you want to try that again, my email is D J O H N S O N at coralville.org. And I guess um, we can continue to move through the agenda in the, in the interim. Um, I apologize, Eve, if you're having uh, technology issues and these meetings are actually rare these days, but um, should we have a need for it in the future, we'll certainly work closely with you beforehand. Um, run some test runs or or something, but um, uh, if you want to email me, um, I can get you in contact with uh, John Hines, and we can um, uh, talk you through steps and see if uh, see if that helps. Okay, I'll move forward then. 
Um, next, are there any corrections to the agenda for this evening's meeting? If not, uh, do I have a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. So moved by Aarons. Second? Second. Second by Holderness. We will now vote on approving the agenda. All those who approve say aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion is carried five to zero. Any corrections to the last meeting held November 3rd, 2021 and the meeting notes? Hearing nothing, um, do I have a motion to approve the minutes from the November 3rd, 2021 meeting? So moved. Moved by Aaron's second. Second. Second by, was that Wenman? Yes. Okay, we will now vote on approving the minutes from the November 3rd, 2021 meeting. All those who approve, say aye. 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 Uh, any nays, any opposed? Okay, motion carried five to zero. All right, we're moving on to agenda item number six, the election of officers. Uh, Dave, do you speak to this item? Sure, the, just real quick. Every calendar year, the Planning and Zoning Commission elects mm -hmm. a uh, vice chairperson that vice chairperson assumes the role of chairperson the following year, and hence that following meeting, another chair vice chairperson is elected. So um, I just wanted to thank Paul for his year as a chairperson of service, and I want to thank Laura uh, for her time as vice chair and becoming chairperson for us. And I would just ask that the commission um, nominate a, a vice chairperson uh, to serve for 2022, and that person will become the chairperson in 2023. Generally speaking, the role of the vice chairperson is to run meetings or, or serve um, in the capacity of the chairperson when the chairperson can't be at a meeting. Uh, that's all I have. I will say that Paul passed on to me some notes that are extremely handy and make it super easy. So <laughs> don't be intimidated. So who are, are, are uh, Ron, is Ron the, and Lacey the only returning uh, members? No, Lacey is actually one of our applicants this evening. Uh, Lacey works for MMS Engineering. Oh, okay. So Ron is our only returning uh, board member right now, right? Uh, that is correct. Other than Laura and Paul. Okay. Well, Paul, and Paul already did it. Uh, and Laura is not on here. Oh, they, Laura's doing it right now. So... Uh, I will move if uh, Ron would accept that, uh, appoint him for the vice chair position. Second. Okay. I don't know if Ron had a chance to accept. No, uh, I, I, I'm willing to do it. It's my turn to step up, so I'll be happy to do oh, it again this year. Perfect. That's great. Lovely. Thanks, Ron. Thank you. Okay. So we have a motion in a second. Okay. Uh, do we have a second? Second. I didn't catch who said that. Sorry. Not Dan. Dan. Okay. Seconded by Holderness. All right. Thank you. All right. Now we're moving on to agenda item number seven, uh, public hearing. This is a request by NSA Property Holdings Incorporated to recommend amending the PUDB site plan for Coralville Industrial Park number two, fourth edition. I will now open the public hearing on this item. Hi, I'm Lacey with MS Consultants. Um, sorry, Zoom's throwing me off, so I'm not sure if this is the part where I should jump in. Um, it's basically just a 9,000 square foot building addition on an existing site for, um, it's the quality care site, and I know they have the site across the street. Um, and I think Dean's worked pretty closely with Dave and city staff to get it to this point. So um, I'm here if you have any questions. All right, thank you. 
Uh, seeing no one else here to speak, I will now close the public hearing. Do I have a motion to consider recommending approval of the request from NSA Property Holdings to amend the PUDB site plan for Coralville Industrial Park number two, fourth edition? So moved. Moved by Wenman, seconded. 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 Seconded by Aaron's. Any discussion on this one? Yeah, um, uh, Chairperson Taylor, if I, if I might just add to what Lacey noted, this will actually be for uh, a 48 unit storage addition to the building at 2100 James Street. Um, so this is a 9,025 square foot addition. We're looking at an additional 7,000 square feet in impervious surface. A bioretention cell is gonna be um, provided on the south side of this building in order to accommodate uh, water quality mitigation on the, the property. Uh, this property is currently zoned IPUD2, uh, Industrial Planned Unit 2 Development District, um, and it's designated as industrial on the land use map. So warehousing and storage are allowed uses here, and that's not an issue. So in addition to the building improvements, um, since we're making a substantial improvement to the site, uh, the staff is also requesting some other items be brought up to current code standards. Um, that includes um, landscaping, uh, they're going to add seven trees and 18 shrubs uh, in order to comply with uh, the landscape and appearance standards in chapter 165.37 of city code and uh, most trees will actually be located in the right of way to add to that kind of linear rhythm of uh, pin oaks that you currently see on the north and south side of uh, james street uh, the other uh, trees will be added uh, near the front of the building um, and also uh, city code requires that a minimum of 100% of a building's wall that fronts a street to be constructed of uh, full natural brick, uh, EFIS, wood siding, stucco, or open face block. And um, the, uh, the applicant is also gonna be putting uh, stucco panels and a uh, Nietzsche Haw uh, panel, which is kind of a, a fiber cement product uh, that's gonna look like brick on the base. Uh, to dress up the front of the building facing uh, James Street in order to comply with that section of code. Uh, that's all I have. Any questions? Thank you for that. I was <clears throat> that was my question on the impervious surfaces. If there was some uh, bioretention or water quality uh, issues in there, and I'm pleased to see that added with the site. Yeah, um, Dan could probably speak to this better than I can, but the city of Coralville takes um, stormwater management on site uh, very seriously. So uh, it's something that um, we are definitely very proud of. And um, I think Amy is still working on the, the capacity details on this with uh, uh, Ron at MMS, but uh, nonetheless, that is the concept that's been approved and they'll move forward with. Okay, any other questions or comments? Seeing none, um, we will now vote on the approval to amend the PUDB site plan for Coralville Industrial Park number two, fourth edition. All those who approve say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So motion carried four to one. Do I have a motion to consider recommending approval of amending the PUDB site plan for Coralville Industrial Park number two, fourth edition? So moved. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time catching who, who said that. That was Dan. Okay. <laughs> so moved by Holderness, uh, seconded by? Seconded. I'll go ahead and second it, or go ahead, Paul. Seconded by Aaron's. Any further discussion on this topic? Seeing none, we will now vote on the approval of amending the PUDB site plan for Coralville Industrial Park number two, fourth edition. All those who approve say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Five to zero. Anything to go over for next month? No, we are um, looking at a, a few projects. We have um, um, 
uh, another project along Red Hawk, uh, two multi-tenant buildings that we are nearing a um, uh, stormwater design on. I think that's really the, the last remaining big issues to be worked out, but I would anticipate seeing that on next month's planning and zoning commission agenda. Um, that's really the, the, uh, the big item um, to be looking at. There's a, a couple smaller projects um, that we're working on, but those will be staff sign-offs um, as a, it's not a, a rezoning or, or a PUD. Uh, we'll, we'll be seeing some facade improvements at uh, Coral North, uh, where the former Gordman's is, and uh, they are also being required to upgrade all of their um, landscaping throughout the entirety of that site, not just the Gordman space. Um, so that's uh, a real exciting project, and uh, we're also working on um, a VA outpatient clinic at the uh, um, former Geico space, and they will also be making substantial uh, site improvements to that, including introducing landscape islands, trees. Um, we're nearing a, uh, approval on that, and once everything is said and done, they're going to be adding approximately 125 trees to the site, as well as landscape islands and also a bioretention cell on the south side of the property. That sounds fantastic. That'll really it'll be, improve that it, corner. Yeah, <laughs> it'll, it's, it'll be a great project and it'll be a great tenant. Yeah. So all that's right. all I have to report. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Uh, <laughs> so moved. Moved by Aaron's. Seconded? Second. Second by Holderness. The meeting is now adjourned.